What's up, everybody? Low Mintage American Silver Eagles and why they are the best of the best. Not just the best from the United States Mint, but the best worldwide. When you consider all sovereign mints, all of the mints around the world, and the coins they produce, why the best is Low Mintage American Silver Eagles. From the United States Mint, when the United States Mint decides to throw us a gem, and trust me, I know that doesn't happen often, but when it does, it indeed is a treat. A treat that not only retains the value that we pay for them from the United States Mint, but increases in value. And I am not talking about mass-produced annual proof American Silver Eagles. I am referring to low mintage special issue American Silver Eagles that is a real gem to United States Mint collectors. And I believe I can prove that on this video. So please stay tuned. What are low mintage American Silver Eagles and what are all the lower mintage American Silver Eagles and why do they beat all other world mints and all other United States mint products in collectability and value? That's the discussion I will be having on this video today. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button on the video and let me know your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section below. Now on this video, the topic is American Silver Eagles. American Silver Eagles, the United States Mint, has been producing since 1986. So there's a large variety of American Silver Eagles. Most of them have very high mintages and a select few have very low mintages. We could be very easily having this conversation about the modern Morgan and Peace dollars being the best of the best, but those just started in 2021 and 2021, in my opinion, is the best of the best so far in the modern Morgan and Peace dollar series from the United States Mint. When talking about lower mintage, collectability, and retaining or increasing in value. Next, we will be bouncing over to the computer and discussing the lowest mintage American Silver Eagles and their current values or what they are currently selling for on the secondary market and comparing that with a recent Perth Mint release that if it was a American Silver Eagle or a modern Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar with the mintage that the recent Perth Mint release has, if an American Silver Eagle or the modern Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars had that same mintage, the sky would be the limit. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Now we're going to bounce over to the computer, take a look at some of the lower mintage American Silver Eagles, what their current values are on the secondary market, and what is that Perth Mint coin? What is the mintage of that Perth Mint coin? How much are those selling for on the secondary market? And what if a American Silver Eagle or one of the modern Morgan and Peace Silver dollars had that same mintage let's bounce over to computer for this part of the video i will be discussing the top five approximate top five lowest mintage american silver eagles and starting out at number five from the pride of two nations set this was the collaboration between the u.s mint and the royal canadian mint with the pride of two nations and this is the 2019 west point enhanced reverse proof american silver eagle and i think in my opinion this coin kind of got overshadowed by the release that happened later in 2019 with the san francisco enhanced reverse proof and we'll be getting to that very shortly in this video but this is about the fifth lowest mintage American Silver Eagle. And when this two coin set was released, it was priced at 
$39.95 with a product limit of 100,000, a mintage limit of 110,000, and that's because there was a Canadian version that had a product limit of 10,000. So I do believe that's where that 110,000 mintage limit comes from. However, from the 2019 Pride of Two Nations, the United States Mint only sold approximately 99,748 or under 100,000 sets. And that is as of the January 5th, 2020 sales report. Now, I think in my opinion, and that was the coin that we were looking at at the very beginning of this video, and I believe this is one of the most gorgeous American Silver Eagle coins that was ever produced, and that is the Enhanced Reverse Proof. Some people like the Enhanced Uncirculated finish better than the Enhanced Reverse Proof, but I love the Enhanced Reverse Proof finish. So keep in mind that the mintage of the 2019 Enhanced Reverse Proof from the West Point Mint American Silver Eagle is right around 100,000. What are these currently selling for on the secondary market? What are the values? Let's go take a look. Now we are looking at the most recently sold listings on eBay. And by the way, everything that I speak about in this video, this was if we bought these directly from the United States Mint. Nothing in this video, I'm talking about purchasing anything from the secondary market buying anything from ebay but if you were to have bought all of these coins from the united states this would be the current value or what they're currently selling for on ebay now if you were to sell these to a local coin shop or sell these peer to peer the values what you would get back in return would probably be very different from what these are currently selling for on ebay but the most recently sold 2019 west point enhanced reverse proof american silver eagle so this was a annex reverse proof 70 and this one sold for 150 dollars and two cents keep in mind the entire set sold for 139 dollars from the united states mint the next one is the set in the OGP. Now these in the OGP really aren't selling for that much more than they sold for from the United States Mint. What this one sold for about $60 over the original issue price. So not that much more. Now some people may be concerned about getting grading rejects or whatever the case may be, but didn't sell for that much more over the original issue price. But then we get to a 2019 West Point Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle Proof 70 early release from the Pride of Two Nations set. This one sold for $210. And then the next one on here is a 2019 West Point Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle Proof 70 early release Pride of Two Nations from the Pride of Two Nations set. This one sold for $100 and $89 and then another $8 for shipping and then if we keep scrolling down even the coin by itself it says 2019 West Point Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle from the Pride of Two Nations one coin in a cap so this one does not come with the silver Canadian Maple Leaf and it does not come in the OGP it just comes in the capsule and that coin by itself sold for $159 so you can see where the value in that set really is the value in that set in my opinion is all about that American Silver Eagle enhanced reverse proof so these coins are not going really for a credible amount of money but keep in mind that the mintage of these coins is right around a hundred what about when we go below or way below a hundred thousand? Well, let's go take a look. The next one on the list and the fourth lowest mintage American Silver Eagle is the end of World War II 75th anniversary commemorating the end of World War II with that B75 Privy Mark. Mintage limit 
was 75,000, product limit 75,000, and a household order limit still, years later, still has a household order limit of one. However, it is showing sold out. I believe the actual sales of this coin, final sales and final mintage, is 74,709 out of that mintage limit of 75,000. So a very low mintage of the V75 end of World War II proof American Silver Eagle. What are these currently selling for on eBay? Most recently sold listings. All right, the V75 proof American Silver Eagle with that V75 privy mark. The last one that sold was on February 21st, 2024, as of the recording of this video. And this one sold in the OGP for $319. The next one is a graded, it looks like it's graded from NGC, Proof 69 Ultra Cameo, $305. So a little bit less as a, as a 69, graded 69 through NGC than in the OGP. Then here we have a Proof 70 graded by PCGS, $474. And next one on here is another Proof 70. This one says, well, look at that, milk spots. But this one was graded by PCGS as a Proof 70. And I assume while it was in that slab, it did develop milk spots, but it still sold believe it or not, for $404, even with milk spots. Wow, check that out. And then the last one we will look at is another one. It looks like it's in the OGP, 12020 West Point American, one ounce, Silver Eagle Dollar, World War II, B75 Privy Mark coin, and this one had a best offer. Not sure what that offer was, but it looks like it was originally listed at just under $400 and a best offer was accepted. Next, the third lowest mintage American Silver Eagle. And for this, we're going to be looking at this is a PCGS website, and this is the 2008 West Point Burnished Silver Eagle with the reverse of 2007 Strike. This was kind of one of those oops mistakes boo-boos by the united states mint if we scroll down so it says in the middle of april 2008 john nanny from leesburg georgia discovered the first known 2008 west point eagle that had the reverse design from 2007 the official release date for all 2008 west point uncirculated silver eagles was on March 17, 2008. All 2008 West Point burnished uncirculated coins were offered directly to the public by the U.S. Mint, unlike non-collector 2008 uncirculated Silver Eagles, which was only sold to authorized bullion purchasers by the United States Mint. Sometime possibly as early as 2007, for some unknown reason, the U.S. Mint decided to modify the reverse design of all upcoming 2008 Silver Eagles, including the proofs. Consequently, all pre-2008 Silver Eagles should have a slightly different reverse design compared to regular 2008 and post-2008 uncirculated and proof Silver Eagles. In the midst of transitioning from the old to the new reverse design, the Mint inadvertently struck some 2008 West Point burnished uncirculated Silver Eagles, uncirculated collector's versions with an old reverse design intended for pre-2008 Silver Eagles only. The two reverse designs are pretty much the same. However, the letters, font, and portions of the design were considerably modified. Overall, it's fairly easy to distinguish between both reverses with the naked eye, especially since most of the lettering is now a different style. 
Once the 2008 West Point reverse of 2007 uncirculated Silver Eagle era surfaced, the U.S. Mint evaluated their coin inventory and discovered that at least 15 reverse dies from 2007 were employed to strike the reverse designs of 2008 West Point Silver Eagles. Since the Mint strikes approximately 3,000 coins per each set of dies for the burnished Silver Eagles, there are approximately 45,000 2008 Silver Eagles with a reverse design of 2007 in existence. And I believe this information was made public because of the Freedom of Information Act. So how much are these 2008 West Point uncirculated burnished American Silver Eagles with the reverse of 2007 currently selling for? Now, I don't know how much these sold for directly from the United States in 2008. My best guess is somewhere between 30 and $40. If anybody purchased these directly from the United States in 2008, and you know how much the price of these coins actually cost directly from the United States, let us know in the comments section below. But they are currently selling for most recently sold listings, and the last one sold on February the 18th, 2024 on eBay, most recently sold listings. And this one sold for $427.09 plus $10 for shipping. The next one on here sold again February the 18th, 2024. This is certified by NGC 2008 West Point Reverse of 2007 Burnish Silver Eagle NGC MS69 Early Release $405. Next one on here looks like it's the same thing as the one above, 2008 West Point Reverse of 2007, American Silver Eagle, dollar NGC MS69, early release, $405 and $6.05 for shipping. Next one is a 2008 West Point Burnished American Silver Eagle, reverse of 2007, NGC MS70, with a brown label and this one not sure what it sold for but it was originally listed for $1,199 and had a best offer accepted next one right below that is a 2008 West Point Burnished Silver Eagle PCGS MS69 reverse of 2007 flag first strike label and that one again had a best offer but was listed at $499 and then this one, the last one we will look at is a 2008 West Point Eagle $1 reverse of 2007 MS70. And this one sold for $808. So very interesting. Do you own one of these 2008 West Point burnished uncirculated silver eagles with the reverse of 2007 and if you do did you buy it from the united states mint at the time or did you purchase it later from the secondary market or from a local coin shop or some other dealer let us know in the comment section below the next one we will be taking a look at and the second lowest mintage american silver eagle however may be more scarce in higher grades than the lowest mintage American Silver Eagle that we will be taking a look at next. But the second lowest mintage by numbers, and as far as I know, the mintage of this coin is 30,125. And again, we are looking at PCGS's website. And if we scroll down, it will show us that the 1995 West Point Silver Eagle is the key date of the series and once was the topic of numerous headlines as proof 70 deep cameo examples of this date cross auction blocks at stupendous numbers. The first of these headlines occurred in early 2013 when the PCGS proof 70 deep cameo sold for $86,655. Wow. In a great collections auction later that year, a second PCGS Proof 70 Deep Cameo sold for 
$550. Incredible. But why does this coin sell for so much money and why is the mintage so low at $30,125 approximately? That's because this coin was only released. This was not sold as a standalone proof American Silver Eagle. And as it says right here, the coin was only offered in a 10th anniversary special five-piece coin set. Each coin set contained a $5, $10, $25, and $50 proof gold eagles from 1995. As a free bonus, what a bonus that was, customers were allowed to receive a free coin with their order. Surprisingly, the coin was the newly introduced 1995 West Point Proof Eagle. The 10th anniversary set was priced at $999 each, either for all four Proof Goat Eagles or all four Proof Goat Eagles along with the free 1995 West Point Proof Silver Eagle as a bonus. All customers had to do was indicate that they wanted to receive the free coin on their order form and they would receive the 1995 Proof Silver Eagle. Huh, what a bonus that was and what about the people that did not request to receive that free bonus coin. The 1995 West Point Proof Silver Eagle became the key date coin in the entire Proof Silver Eagle series. The coin ended up surpassing the values of every single coin in the 1995 Gold Proof set, including all of the gold coins combined. Incredible. So how much is that 1995 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle selling for today? Let's go check that out. Now, as I previously stated, this is the second lowest mintage American Silver Eagle, but it's definitely not hurting its secondary market value, not at the very least. In fact, as a proof 69, as graded coins, these are definitely selling for more, I do believe, than the lowest mintage 2019 San Francisco Enhanced Reverse Proof. And the first one on here is a 1995 West Point one ounce silver proof American Eagle proof 69. And this one graded by PCGS. And this one sold for $2,750. The next one just below that, this is a gem proof. And I believe a gem proof is no lower than a proof 65, not 100% sure, but this is not a 70, it's not a 69. It is labeled as a gem proof 1995 West Point American Silver Eagle slabbed by NGC. And it was listed for $3,195 and had a best offer accepted. The next one below that is not a 1995 West Point and neither is this one. The next one on here sold February 20th, 2024, and this one was the entire set. American Gold Eagles and that 1995W. It's no longer a freebie today. If you want that, you are going to definitely have to pay up for that. And this set is now not $1,000 or $999.99. .99. But this set sold for $7,995. Wow, incredible. Next one below that. This one is a 1995 Silver Eagle Proof NGC Proof 70 Ultra Cameo Perfect Decam Proof 70. This was listed, looks like $13,850 and had a best offer accepted. Very curious to know what that best offer was. And it looks like this one is a Proof 69 NGC, $3,065. Incredible amount of money that these coins are still selling for. Now, these are definitely not selling for what they once did, according to that PCGS article where they were talking about Proof 70 D cameos selling for $86,000 or $55,000, but still incredible values for the 1995 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle in my 
opinion. Many of you may not have the opportunity to get that 1995 West Point proof American Silver Eagle as a freebie in that five coin set from 1995, including those four American Gold Eagles. But a lot of you probably did have the opportunity and it was probably on the website in 2019 on November 14th, 2019 to purchase the 2019 San Francisco Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle. And by the way, this is the lowest vintage American Silver Eagle that went on sale on November the 14th of 2019 for the price of $65.95. I did a video on this in 2019, months before this coin went on sale, and I was lucky enough to be able to purchase one of these 2019 San Francisco Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagles. And the current sales or mintage of this coin as of recording this video is 29,913, slightly less than the 1995 West Point proof American Silver Eagle. How much are these currently selling for on the secondary market after they went on sale in 2019 for the price of $65.95? The most recently sold 2019 San Francisco Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle sold today, as a matter of fact, as I'm recording this video on February the 22nd. This coin, Proof 70 from PCGS, sold for $2,499.99. So not quite as much as a Proof 70 for a 1995 West Point Proof American Silver Eagle. As we just seen, it looks like they are going for about ten dollars to $11,000 more than the lower mintage 2019 San Francisco Proof 70 from PCGS, but nonetheless, still a pretty good value for a coin that costs $65, at least, in my opinion. Next one just below that is another Proof 70. This one looks like it's a signed label from John Mercanti, $2,395. The next one below that is not a Enhanced Reverse Proof, just the regular San Francisco Proof Strike American Silver Eagle from 2019. And then this is another San Francisco Proof American Silver Eagle, San Francisco Proof American Silver Eagle again but not the enhanced reverse proof. And the final one that we will look at in this video sold on February 19, 2024, 2019, San Francisco enhanced reverse proof American Silver Eagle PCGS proof 70 first strike with OGP and COA. That one sold for $2,050. Now we are on the Perth Mint website and I did a video on this coin prior to this coin being released. Now this did sell out pretty fast. I was going to purchase this coin directly from the Perth Mint, but it did sell out really quick and I did not have the opportunity to purchase this coin. This coin is a proof four nines fine silver kangaroo. It is the first coin from the Perth Mint, first Perth Mint coin with King Charles III's effigy and it has a special p125 anniversary mint mark as you can see right there australian legal tender and here's the big part at least in my opinion it has a mintage of 7500 now out of everything that we already looked at on this video with all the prior coins released from the united states mint in which in my opinion are very low mintages that can't compare with the mintage limit of this coin. However, the value on the secondary market is not going for very much over the issue price from the Perth Mint. If the United States Mint released a Morgan or Peace Silver Dollar or American Silver Eagle with a mintage of 7,500 or anywhere close to 7,500, what would the value of that coin be? 
Like I said at the beginning of this video, I think the sky would be the limit, so to speak. Much, much more than what this proof kangaroo is currently selling for. Now, one thing is for sure, I have no idea what these coins, how these coins are going to perform in the future. As you can see, there's one down here that sold for $150 dollars and 33 cents but the most recently one sold was on february the 18th 2024 and it sold for 127 dollars and 99 cents now if this was a proof american silver eagle with a mintage of 7500 how much would that proof american silver eagle or proof morgan silver dollar or proof peace dollar enhanced reverse proof a reverse proof any american silver eagle or morgan or peace dollar with a mintage limit of 7500 i think you could take this price of 127 dollars and 99 cents and times that by maybe a hundred i don't know i'm just guessing of course we don't have any proof american silver eagles or morgan or peace dollars with a mintage limit of seven thousand five hundred but if we did they would be going for much much more than this 127 dollars. i wouldn't be surprised if a coin like that were to go for ten thousand twelve thousand dollars in my opinion now there is one a little bit lower down here that did go for 150 dollars and 33 cents plus 1961 for shipping because it was coming from australia and then let's see this is different that's not the same thing and then this one here sold for 143 dollars and 77 cents 2615 for shipping again that was coming from Australia, another 150. This one here only sold for $81.96 at then 969 for shipping, and that one coming from Germany. I don't mean this to be negative towards this coin or anything from the Perth Mint or anything else from coins, bullion coins, collector coins from around the world because there's a lot of them that I do like I do enjoy and like I said I was going to purchase this coin if I was able to get it directly from the Perth Mint but it just sold out too quickly but as you can see there's definitely no shortage in opportunity to get this coin at a decent price this was something from the United States Mint proof american silver eagle morgan or peace silver dollar like i said that had this type of a mintage limit and if we had to go to the secondary market for it it would be very very unaffordable or we would be unable to obtain that at a decent price like this in no way am i trying to encourage anybody to purchase this from the secondary market just trying to show the difference between what a lower mintage or what you would consider a lower mintage from another world mint like the perth mint and how lower mintage from the u.s mint for a proof american silver eagle is like a hundred thousand or just below a hundred thousand at least in my opinion let me know your thoughts your opinions in that comment section below I do appreciate everybody for taking valuable time out of your day to watch this video. I do hope this video was entertaining, enjoyable, and informative. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the video. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section below. And I do appreciate your time watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.